Hi guys, I'm Erwin. And I'm Peter. And we're coaches from the, the Bramley Tennis Club. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be demonstrating how to hit a volley. A volley is a ball that you hit before it bounces on the floor. So me and Peter will demonstrate a few of those volleys. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is learn the proper grip of how to hold the racket. And what that's called is, is basically continental grip, the same grip that we use for serving. So what that basically means is you're going to take your right hand or your dominant hand and you're going to make a V with it and put it right on top of the handle such that the V is facing upwards. So what that's really going to look like is you have your bevel of the racket sort of like this. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I'm right handed, that's what that's going to look like. And if I'm left handed, this is what that is going to look like. So the next thing that we're going to be learning is how to self volley. Self volleying is when you're volleying the ball back to yourself without letting it bounce on the floor. So what we're going to try first is going to our forehand side, so continental grip, the grip that we just showed you, palm facing upwards on your dominant side of your body. You're going to be volleying the ball like this five times in a row. And once you've got that, we're going to go to our backhand side, palm facing down on your non-dominant side of your body, and we're going to volley the ball five times in a row, just like that. All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate that same self volley into a starting drill, either over the net or against the wall. So what we're going to be doing is, just like before, we're going to self volley the ball a few times to ourselves, and then we're going to volley the ball back over the net. So let's aim for at least two times, and if you need to go more, that's totally okay until you're comfortable, and then bring the ball over the net. So we're going to go once, twice, three times, and then self volley the ball over the net. So once, twice, volley over the net. Once, twice, over the net. So now we're going to be working on stepping in on the volley using your legs. So on the forehand side, when you're about to self volley and then send it over the net, you're going to be using your non-dominant leg to step forward on the forehand side. So it's going to be looking like this. So you're self volley. When you want to send it over the net, you're going to step forward with your non-dominant leg. So on the backhand side, it's going to look like this. Self volley on the backhand side, you're going to step forward with your dominant leg. Okay, so I'm going to show the forehand side one more time. Self volley on the forehand, you're going to step forwards. And on the backhand side, self volley on the backhand, and you're going to step forwards. Alright, so this is what that's going to look like using that starting the drill that we just did before. We're going to self volley the ball a couple times, and then step forward into it. guys now we're going to be demonstrating that same drill on the forehand side so this is what's going to look like bounce bounce step forward making sure you're stepping forwards on your volley that you want to send all right guys so now what we're going to try and focus on is keeping that racket face above your wrist as you step forward into the shot so now a lot of times with volleys, as we're making contact with the ball or even just before, it's very tempting to just let your wrist drop as you hit the ball. But it's really tough to control that shot and even get it over the net if you do that. So what we want to try and do is our racket face, our wrist, keep it always above and then really bend with your knees right underneath the shot as you make contact with the ball. This will allow you to control it a lot better and really get that pace into that shot and either take it off as well if you need to. So once you've got the hang of everything up to this point, now we're going to progress the drill a little bit more difficult and do it from one self volley and then bump it over the next. So what that's going to look like is like this. So one self volley over the net. Now 
and you could always use more than one self volley if you need to but try to get it for only one for now when you self volley try to keep that ball right in front of you all the time okay because if that ball goes right behind you it's going to be very hard to control shot you don't even have a backswing really what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be punching the ball forward as you go through so not hitting upwards not hitting downwards there's a little as little movement as possible with your actual swing is what's going to go a long way in controlling the shot of the volley now we're going to do the same drill we were doing before we're going to try to make it a little bit more difficult but just no self rallies and then we're going to take it from there very much as we hit the ball back and forth and that's key to help control the ball because a lot of times when you're at the net people are going to hit that ball really hard at you and if you want to control that ball in as least movement as possible as little movement as you punch the ball forward is what's going to go a long way Thank you guys for watching our video. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and click that notification bell at the top right corner so that you can get the most up-to-date message on when our next video is coming out.